Nowadays, emulating Nintendo Switch games has become really difficult and most of the popular emulators have been shut down or discontinued. So um, finding a fully working one that is still in active development, it's never easy. But in today's video, I'm here to show you something new and exciting, a fresh Switch emulator that is still being developed and update called the Eden emulator. Well, I've already talked about this emulator before while it was still in early development but now it's publicly available and today I will explain everything about this emulator, I mean everything you need to know about this emulator. So I'll break down the new change logs, I'll show you how the emulator works and I'll guide you step by step on how to download and install it on your Android and PC. So without much ado, let's get started. Now before we dive into everything, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on more emulation contents like this. And real quick, I want to give a special shout out to Damien and Johnny for constantly helping out people in our WhatsApp group who are struggling to set up their emulators after watching my video. So a big respect to you guys for keeping their community strong. Now back to the main topic. Or back to the main video Hotis Eden emulator so um, to explain it Eden emulator is an Nintendo switch emulator just like the Yuzu but Eden is a new and clean version it's what we call a Yuzu fork meaning the developers used Yuzu code and improve on it and the cool part is that it works on both Android Windows and even Linux system so no matter what you game on, Eden lets you play Switch games smoothly if your device is powerful enough. Now let's take a look at what's new in this latest version. Eden is still in pre-alpha so it's not fully finished but it's working surprisingly well. And here are some updates from version 0.02. So with the change logs, we have the improved better performance across Android and PC and also fixes for Snapdragon and Mali GPUs on Android. Smoother gameplay on Windows and Linux using the Vulkan API and also fewer crashes and freezing when starting the games. UI is a bit cleaner and easier to use. So that means whether you are on mobile or desktop, you will get a more stable experience. Now let's take a look at how to download the emulator and install it on your device. Okay, so we are here for the installation of the emulator, how to download and install the emulator. So to do that, open your browser, it could be whether Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using the Google Chrome. So open your Google Chrome browser and then go to this website, which says eden emodev Go to this website. Now here like this, you should see something like download source code and then so on. So all what you have to do is just press on this download button over here. Just press on this download and then it should take to this session. Now this is the pre-release, I mean pre-alpha release, which is version 0.02. So at this moment, this is the latest version. So all what you have to do is just scroll down until you see the download sessions and better still these are the change logs and also the known issue in this pre-release so if you are android user you have to choose or you have to go with the android apk if you are linux user you have to go with the linux and if you are a window or microsoft user just choose the microsoft windows so um i'm running windows 11 so i will choose this one which is the microsoft windows so i'm going to download this one just press on it and start downloading Now here, download, 
the offer so you have to press on download and then your file should start downloading i've already downloaded the file so there won't be any need for me to download it again so with this i'll just go to the folder that contains the file so this is the latest version of the adding emulator so this one is the emulator and when you look here the emulator comes as in the form of zip file format so you can use a program like 7-zip or winrar to extract this file and for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using winrar so install winrar on your pc then after that you right click using the winrar you select extract to adding windows msv blah 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 just select this one okay so after extraction open it and then here we should see the emulator so this is the ID emulator so you need to run this exe file and then you should see something like publisher could not verify blah 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 just press on run now here like this if you have already switch emulator installed on your pc you can migrate the data but i suggest you selecting no so i'll go with no and then i'll just select okay now here like this it tells me that encryption keys are missing meaning you have not installed the switch keys just press on okay and then to install the firmware and the switch keys please listen to play switch games you will need switch firmware and switch keys for the sake of for the sake of privacy i can't tell you guys how to get those so that one i can't teach you guys so after getting that just press on this two over here So um, after getting both your switch firmware and product keys, come to this session and then you select install decryption key. So select this one and then locate the folder that contains your decryption keys. And also note that the keys version must go with your firmware version so i have product keys version 19 so um i'll select the version 19 it says decryption keys were successfully installed just press ok now what's left is to install our firmware and to do that just come to the two session select install firmware and then select the folder that contains your switch firmware remember your firmware version must go with your switch version um, your product keys version and we installed product key version 19 so meaning the firmware that we are going to install must be in version 19 so now locate the folder that contains your switch firmware files So this is my firmware and then make sure your firmware is extracted after that select the folder that contains the firmware files so this is it and then when you are done press on select folder press on this thing over here select folder just press on it and then wait for it to finish installing okay so now when you look down here we have something like 19.0.1 and this indicates the product keys and the switch firmware version so um we have an empty space over here and for our games to show at this side you have to double click this yellow icon this yellow and green icon here plus icon here so you have to double click it and then select the folder that contains your switch games
table. So now after doing that, your games should appear at this section. So now um, after doing this, come to this yellow folder over here, right click and then tick in scan subfolders. So after doing that, your game library should refresh and the unappear game should now appear at this moment. So after that, just come to emulation side, which is this one. Go to the configure. And then under the graphic. And also under the graphic API, make sure it is selected on Vulkan. I prefer you guys to use Vulkan, better still, you can go with the OpenGL, but I prefer you guys to choose or to go with the Vulkan. And also under the device, make sure you, you select your external GPU. So let's say if you have an RTS 3060 or RTS 4060, 4017, 50 something, blah, 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 make sure you select that GPU of yours. So. As at now, I have only GTS 10, um, 1070 Ti, so I will go with that one. You have to select your external GPU. And then for the controller settings, just come to this, this session over here. So come to the control session over here. And then you should see something like this. So here we have the Pro Controller, the Joy-Con, blah, 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 blah. So I suggest you guys choosing the default one, which is the Pro Controller. And also under the input device, which is this one, you can see something like keyboard only. Just press that and then select your connected controller. So as at now, I have Xbox One controller. So I'll just select that one. Better still, if you have PS4, PS5, any controller connected, make sure you select that controller. So here I have Xbox One controller, so I'll go with that one. And then after that, I'll just I'll just press on OK over here. So after selecting your um, controller, I mean your connected controller, it should automatically map all the buttons onto your controller. So after that, just press on OK like this, and then you are done so um i think this is all i mean this is how we install the adin emulator on our pc i'm not going to show any gameplay because of how strict nintendo is nowadays i don't want any copyright strike so i'm not going to show any game um, gameplay and to tell you this is how um, we install switch emulator or adding emulator on our pc now a few important things to keep in mind is that Eden does not come with games or switch keys so meaning you will need to provide your own and also always use nsp or sci format games make sure your keys and firmware are correctly placed if a game crashes check if the keys or firmware are missing or outdated and remember Eden is still in early development so not every game will run perfectly fine and my final thoughts on this emulator is that Eden emulator is a solid option if you are looking for a fresh clean and working switch emulator that still gets updates it's lightweight works well on android and pc and could become the next big emulator in the switch scene if development keeps on going it's also a good alternative to emulators like Sudachi, Suyu or Yuzu if you've used those before. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and also for more emulator tutorials and game content. The download link for the editing emulator is in the video description so make sure you check it out. Thank you. Meet you next time.